everyone, it's me, ASMR Siren, and what I will be doing for you guys today is a little unboxing video of um, this witch casket. Um, first of all, I do want to say that I paid for this box with my own money. So, I do not have any affiliation with the company of this item. So, I just want to be very clear on that, that I do not make any money off of receiving or anything like that. Um, I bought this item with my own money. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, this is, like I said, subscription box of the witch casket. It's my very first time buying this item, so I thought it would be a fun video for you guys. Um, first of all, I do gotta say I really love the packaging. I think the lock on the front and the way it says it on the box and you know, all the little details. I think it's very, very nice. that probably has uh, all the items inside. I see the theme of this month is courage. The world is a scary place right now, and we can't thank you enough for letting us know how your caskets are helping you in this time of global upheaval. Your messages have meant everything to us, and the contents of this pamphlet will allow you to familiarize yourself with this month's items and our specially selected suppliers. Please remember to tag us in your social media posts and use the hashtag WitchCasket so we can easily find and share your magical and creative posts. We notice and appreciate every single one of them and we hope you all know how loved and treasured you are. Until the next time, be well, Deb and Ella. And it has a little heart. yet because I do want to be surprised with the content so I'll put this aside for a second oh how adorable it has a little sticker inside of it of a little kettle that's so adorable this will probably go on my journal There's 
a little envelope. Wow. It has a nice little seed at the back. It says Witch Casket. It's uh, the Courage Postcard Collection. Oh. Very curious to see what's in here. This one says Fearless Witch. Impossible things take courage and a little magic. I like that. <laughs> a little courage potion bottle. Bravery is a hidden treasure we all hold. Wow, these are so cute. Courage, confidence, boosting tools and magic. Oh. Confidence is important in your craft since you work with intent and belief so much. If you can't be confident in your actions, it makes it harder to manifest your desires. It may sometimes feel impossible to feel sure about yourself, but there are many small ways to boost your confidence in a day-to-day -day life. The most important thing, every step you take, know you're powerful and capable. Witchcraft is here to make you realize the power you hold. There's no wrong or right way to practice. So never feel scared or think you're not practicing the right way. I actually really love that message because, like I said, this is my very first witch box. I have always been interested in magic, witchcraft, wicca, stuff like that, but I don't know why I was always kind of scared to get into it because it does seem like a lot and I do not at all want to do anything wrong, especially when it comes to, you know, what I would say is uh, the universe and magic and stuff that I do not want to be attracting the wrong things by doing it wrong so the way they give this little encouraging message about there's no wrong way of doing it and you just have to have confidence in what you do I, I really appreciate that I don't know, just wanted to mention it oh, maybe I should read off uh, some of the stuff there are a few simple aids to help. Crystals. Uh, bloodstone assists you in hard situations, challenges. Grounding. Carnelian boosts willpower and energy. Malachite protects your will facing anything that brings you anxiety. Red Jasper helps remove stress in your body and strengthens the mind. Ruby removes limitations, boosts confidence, and brings great joy. Um, herbs, fennel, I'm not gonna read all of them because that would take a long time, <laughs> but if you want me to read it all, maybe I'll do it in a separate video. <laughs> um, so, herbs are fennel, yarrow, nettle, thyme, hibiscus, and rue. Candles are red, orange, yellow, silver, and white. Um, there's also a little bit about carrying your magic. 
An easy way to carry around your intention is to wear jewelry or carry charm bags or amulets with you. You can wear crystals or shig sigils as jewelry. Sew symbols and sigils on your jacket or inside your jacket if you want to be dis discreet. <laughs> Keep a charm bag in your pocket or in your bag. This is a perfect way to feel connected to your magic throughout the day and you can draw from the magical energies as needed. Ritual baths. You can have ritual baths adding in essential oils, crystals. Please always check your crystals can come into contact with water before doing this. And herbs, flowers to promote courage. Light some candles and take this time to focus on your intentions and know you'll leave the bath feeling a new confidence. You can read your favorite empowering book, listen to a podcast that makes you feel unstoppable, whatever it is that helps. Take the time to soak up the magic that surrounds you. Books. Books are a great source of information and power. Find books that connect you with and make you feel more empowered in your craft and in general. We recommend tabbing your books when you find a quote or piece of information that resonates, so you can add this information to your own grimoire book of shadows. We'll come back to it when you need a little boost of strength. Also, also fun little side note, I do have this little rose quartz that I wear pretty often. I do not wear jewelry very much, but this is one of the only things I wear. I went to a place in France with my best friend, and there we got... Uh, we went to this place that had a lot of different crystals and stuff, because there are probably caves or something in, in the environment, I don't know. But uh, I bought a little amethyst and a little rose quartz because the, you know, powers that they possess, as you would say, um, resonated the most with me, rose quartz. So to simplify it, I think was like love and, you know, protecting for love. And amethyst was more like uh, protecting against, um, you know, like, bad influences or stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I should look it up sometime and read in a video what all the different types of crystals means because it, it does really interest me. But uh, this is... I sadly lost the amethyst one. Uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I do still have this little rose quartz one. So yeah, I like to keep it around. Let's see what the next item is. This smells so good. It's morning sunshine tea for confidence, positive energy and joy. I will be making this in the future because I absolutely love tea. Although I do have to say I tend to put a huge amount of sugar in my tea, which might not be the best, but I don't know. I'm a sweet tooth. Oh, but this smells absolutely amazing. Mm, luxury ingredients, black tea, papaya pieces, Calendula, jasmine, sunflower petals, natural flavors, organic compliant, magical properties as follows. Papaya, love and protection, calendula, divination and prophe prophetic dreams, sorry, <laughs> jasmine, confidence and psychic abilities, so, oh. sunflower, happiness and courage. Rule. Mental strength, healing, health, and protection. A rich casket essential. 
Another essential part of your witch's apothecary. Incorporate rue into spells, rituals, charm bags, spell jars, etc. For mental strength, healing, health, and protection. Oh, cool. So I, I think this is like a sort of ingredient. I'll definitely have to look up more information and stuff to make sure I do everything right. There's this big bag. It says, Courage Ritual Kit. It contains everything you need to leave your fears behind. So this, I will maybe have to contact my uh, friend who read, well, funny story. I have this friend who last month posted on her Instagram a picture of the items that uh, were in last month's box. It was a box, I think the contents were surrounding healing and uh, the thing that attracted me was the fact that there was an amethyst inside of the you know, the box, I think, or at least an item that was uh, an amethyst or something and uh, like I said, I lost mine so I was like, oh, that would have been great and I was maybe a little bit jealous <laughs> so I contacted her and I was like, oh, so what is this? Do you think this would be beginner friendly and stuff like that? And she said that it would be a great way because they do explain everything. So maybe I'll ask her if she can help me with this since it would be my first time. Oh, oh look, there's a little bit. same as the, the postcard. It says Fearless Witch. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's a beautiful box. It's probably still the tea that I smell, but Everything in this box smells amazing. It has a little tea hole. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a little tea holder. Red Jasper Tea Infuser Turn tea into a witch's brew with this magical Red Jasper Tea Infuser. Red Jasper is a stone of courage, stamina, and vitality. See, it has this little card that says it on there. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, this makes me super happy. <laughs> Let me put it. I think this is a little soap of some kind. I don't know. Let me open it again. I don't know what this is, but I think it's soap. It's so cute. It has this little pen.
smells amazing too. Let me read. Okay, so I was wrong. It's not soap. It's Pentel Wax Melt by Urban Loon. Urban Loon. Sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Um, melt in an oil burner and allow this magical fragrance to sweep through your home. This enchanting blend is an excellent aid to meditation. Sandalwood to banish negativity and bring peace of mind. Amber, a complex blend of earthy, grounding fragrances. Packaged in eco bags, which are biodegradable. And their website and their information is here in the box. So, not so, but amazing because I absolutely love scented candles and fragrances. I, I have used everything in the book to create scents in my home. So I have used oils before and those little wax stones that you put a candle underneath. I also used, um, I don't know what's the English word, but those little sticks that you burn in a miso smoke. <laughs> so yeah, very cute. We will be using this. Oh, this is the crystal set. Oh, I'm so excited to see. Well, it's probably gonna be Jasper. Um, and this one. The Courage Crystal Set A bewitching collection of four empowering crystals presented in a beautiful black pouch all known for their ability to bring strength, courage, and stamina when needed. Carry these with you or use them in spells and rituals to banish fear and promote courage and endurance. So the four stones are the Tiger Ivory, which represents strength, confidence, stamina, and energy. The Sardonyx, courage, happiness, and protection. The Chinese Bloodstone, which is grounding, personal healing, courage, and wisdom. Red Jasper, strength. Overcoming problems, endurance, and fearlessness. So, this last item is this cute little Jasper keychain. Red Jasper keyring. Key a simple way to carry the energies of red jasper with you for courage, empowerment, and endurance. That's adorable. Oh. So, these were all the items that I received in the box. The box is uh, approximately I would say that between 35 and 40 euros. I'm not exactly sure anymore. But yeah. This is everything. So I really hope to enjoy this little unboxing video. If there are any of the items that you really enjoyed and you would like to see some more tapping or playing with the little crystals or anything like that, let me know in the comments below.
and I'll definitely keep it in mind for my future videos. Um, so yeah, I hope you have an amazing day or night, evening, wherever you are in the world. I hope you had a little bit of relaxation while watching me. Um, and I'll open this up for the first time. I do gotta say I'm really happy with everything that I received, so this was not a disappointment, which is great. Which, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah. Have an amazing evening. Bye.